Yo, what's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, Rap Master, checking in with you on this beautiful God-given Wednesday in the Shy City, and I am here to present to you another tutorial. That's right. And today, we're going to emphasize on core and lower back strength through push-ups, okay? And also, I have weights here to show you guys a sequence of squats that I want to do for balance, okay? And as you guys heard the key word, balance, okay? Anytime balance is forced into the equation of an exercise, normally the core is responsible for helping you to maintain that balance, all right? So that's what I want to emphasize on. Everything is basic, but yet it's still very um, advanced in, in a way. And I also want to give credit to my man's out there in the East Coast, Red Shot, Red Shot Blackstar, you know? I watched a video of his, and this brother is phenomenal. Fit over 50, ripped to death, very knowledgeable trainer, and very thorough with his material, man. Subscribe to his channel, Red Shot Blackstar, and hit him up and check his material out. So, like I said, I give credit where credit is due to other trainers if I've derived an idea from them. And yes, I did. I got this idea from Red Shot Blackstar. But what I'm going to do is put my own twist to it. Okay, guys? So, I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. No doubt. So, this is my own twist to uh, core stabilization through push-ups. All right, guys. So, I got a 45-pound plate here. Okay? Now, as you guys can see, all right, I'm going to set this thing up to where I have like a mid-range. All right? And I have this 10 pound plate here, okay? I've, I've practiced this and I've gotten a chance to demonstrate it before I've turned the camera on. My lower region and my stomach is not gonna actually touch the plate. It may appear to be that way and I actually have on a sweater as well. So, um, as like I said, you know, it's all about controlling it on the negative and squeezing up, but I'm not gonna necessarily rest on this plate. That's gonna be um, uncomfortable, quite obviously, as well. So here, guys, all right, I'll, um, I'm gonna get here. What I highly recommend, okay, if you want to really start this out to secure yourself, especially if you're not as advanced, as you can see, I was going to go right into the um, regular lean and rest and into the position, but from here, you always want to start out by engaging a nice firm grip, okay? Once you get a nice firm grip, now we're going to take the legs and extend it back, and as you can see, I'm scissor legged, okay? This right here creates and makes the exercise a little bit easier, okay, but it's still challenging. So when I go down, it's not about how fast you're doing or even the rep count itself. I want you guys to practice this and master the movement, okay? So I'm gonna go down, negative, squeeze up, okay? Balance is the challenge here. Squeeze, okay? Come down on that negative, right there. Squeeze. Negative, squeeze up. Control on the negative, squeeze up. Now, as you get advanced, okay, you get comfortable, you can speed up the reps, okay, but still control. Up, 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 okay. Now, I've changed the dynamics by bringing my legs in a narrow position. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm struggling with balance now. I'm going to do about two or three just to demonstrate, okay, and very slow. Okay, coming down on that negative, okay, stabilize. Squeeze up. Okay, hold. Let's get two more. Okay, come down on that negative. Okay. Up. Okay, go down on that negative. Control. Squeeze up. Okay. One variation. And because I have the 45 pound plate and the position where I was at, that's going to work in pretty much medial chest. All right. Now I'm going to get crazy with it and go with a smaller plate so that we can engage more of the inner chest with a five plate, all right? Same principle, same grip, but yet very challenging, all right? We come here, all right? Same thing. If you're just starting out, start from the knees. Please do so, all right? Firm grip here. Now I'm going to get myself set up, stabilize and engage the core, get those triceps, anterior deltoid ready to engage, and let's get in the position first, okay? Now, you can focus on going in the negative and getting that nice pump, okay? Here, it's a smaller plate, guys. Squeeze, so it's way more challenging. Negative, squeeze. Now, even if I try to speed it up, I'm not even able to do it as fast. Up, 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 okay? Same thing, dynamics change. You narrow the legs 10 times harder, very much slower. Let's get the negative, okay? Squeeze up, okay? Let's get that negative, come down. 
squeeze up, okay? Second variation out the way. That's with the five plate. This right here is still gonna emphasize a little bit on the inner chest. I'm gonna take a 15 pound dumbbell and apply the same principle. Now, you have to make sure you have a stable grip on the head of the dumbbells, okay? So you're gonna come here, stabilize. Same thing, guys, all right? Start with the nice firm grip on the head of the dumbbells. Let's get those legs ready to go back, engage the core, anterior deltoid and triceps. Let's stabilize here first. Now let's go up. Scissor leg is more modified. And as we go down, same principle. Squeeze. 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 Okay, like I said, I'm not touching the 10 pound plate that you may see in the back of me. Okay. Squeeze. Same thing, dynamics change. Bring the legs in. I'm gonna do two exactly. This is extremely complicated, guys. Okay, come down, okay? Right over the plate, couple of inches above the dumbbell, squeeze up. Okay, come down slowly until you master the movement. Couple inches above that dumbbell, squeeze up. All right, guys, so three different variations of push-ups, okay? Now, this is very simple, but yet effective to target your outer thighs and inner thighs through squats, okay? Now, I've presented this on other videos. This is just a different format of doing so. So, I'm gonna start here. And as you can see, guys, my feet are kinda narrow, so I can kinda withstand pretty much um, the width of the plate right here. So, I'm gonna go into a nice smooth squat here with the legs enclosed. The knees should not surpass the toes, guys. So, back control is a major thing as well. You don't wanna slump over into the squat. We just wanna simply bend here, okay? As you can see, knees are here, toes are there. Squeeze up, okay? Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, all right? Okay? Outer thighs evolve from this position. Squeeze. 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 When you make the transition, if you're not advanced, even if you are, be careful, look down, okay? Over here. Squat, return it. Squat, return. Squat, return. Squat, return. Squat, squat. Bam. There you have it. Okay? So, pretty much everything that you saw requires balance, okay? Just keep in mind when you're first starting out, it's not about how fast you go. It's not about even the amount of reps that you get in. Master the movement and really engage your core, okay? And this is also extremely beneficial for stabilizing the lower back muscles as well, okay? So with that said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As I said in the beginning, like, subscribe, comment, hit me with your positivity because every time I hit record, that's damn sure what I aim to do for you guys, all right? So remember, whatever you do, stay true, keep God first, and everything is guaranteed to be smooth. And whatever you do, kick negativity out the door and make room for nothing but pure positivity, all right? So with that said, your boy Rep Master is out of here. Until next time, telling you much love, much peace, much soulness, y'all.